And plenty of smiles shared prior to the tip between a couple of former teammates, Azaray Stevens and Stephanie Dolson. Will tip it off, and Stevens wins the opening jump. Courtney Vandersloot, one of the veterans on this Sky roster, kicks it out, and the drive from Gardner, her first bucket of the season. Here's Meesman, up-tempo pace, nearly going. Stevens, a trailer triple, got it to go! Well, that's nice action. Two elements of her game she's really worked on, and it's Delpin out. Knocked down a three in the opener as well. Meesman digs in and finishes with a lovely righty hook. High quality looks to start this game. Jocelyn Willoughby had an excellent opening night against Connecticut last Saturday. She gets the Liberty on the board to end what was a 7-0 start for the Sky. Just a one of seven start for the Liberty. The opposite way, Rebecca Gardner has four points, and she's looking for five with one more chance at the line. Haven't seen her yet. Laney's back in the lineup, and she's off to the races. She'll take the two points easily. Four-point game. Dana Evans had a career-high 24 for the Sky in their open. She gets her first bucket of the night. Since the WNBA Finals last season when the Sky obviously took down the Mercury. Emma Mieseman finds Rebecca Gardner, who's off to a good start today. Gets a roll. Sky off to a 6-for-12 start from the field. Mieseman in the post again at 12 points in her debut. Goes off the glass this time. Emma utilized beautiful patience. One of the toughest things to do in basketball, the first shot you get coming into the game is a three. It's very difficult to hit. Please, Stephanie Dolson, her first bucket back. Parker pulls a three of her own and gets it to drop. All you young players, you young ladies, you young men. Yep, Kalia Copper still finishing up duties overseas she was the 2021 WNBA finals MVP as Dolson used the body to knock down Hebert James Wade wanted to call the other way Rebecca Gardner has been excellent in transition gets another bucket to drop on the break so that's a good job by the sky they were not pleased how surprised she shot that first attempt with her left almost found the bottom Laney bullies her way into the paint and utilize the glass to cut this lead down to single digits. As I mentioned earlier, the 2020 most improved player with Atlanta. As there's another turnover, that's hurt the Liberty early on. Vandersloot all the way to the rim. Easy bucket. Nice job. Parker seemingly every season climbing up the ladder as Rebecca Gardner makes a pretty move to the paint and finishes after the pirouette has been so active now she's matched up defensively with Natasha Howard and Howard able to use the height and flush it down that's a good move by Howard recognize she had the advantage here's Gardner again this time matched up with Whitcomb a wide open Azure Stevens in the paint bit of a miscommunication there from the Liberty Eastman pumps on Howard oh, and man. scoops it up and in. Natasha Howard fading. Oh, that's a pretty shot. shot. <laughs> this guy had to be okay with I'll that. Take it. Yeah, her post scoring is something that's difficult to contain as Parker looking for another three and got another to go. This is still a relatively young Liberty team, too. Sammy Whitcomb is the oldest player on their roster. She just took the jumper there. Turns 34 in July. A little two-on-one game the other way. And it turns into a Dana Evans bucket. Gardner, who was inserted to the lineup today for the first time this season, got off to an excellent start. Just five on the shot clock, four. Crosses over and fires. And hits the shot. But Gardner is something else. I mean, she can really get wherever she wants to on the floor. The reverse lay in the opposite way from Jocelyn Willoughby. Azaray Stevens there defending. Back comes Vandersloot. If they hurry, they got numbers. Well, Stevens realized how wide open the lane was. With a smile on her face, she takes it to the lane. And again, the Sky without their two best scores. Quickly and Copper. Natasha Howard finishes easily at the rim. Candace Parker patiently with 10 on the shot clock. A two-person game of the Vandersloot. Oh, pretty possession leads to a Candace Parker three. 
meant to represent love, battling, and energy, among other things. And it also represents family as Candace Parker drops down the mid-range jet. Oh, yeah. Great stat for the Sky defense today. Yes. Oni Inoueide finds her way to the cup. Annalie Maley went into some contact, didn't get a foul call. Back comes Yonescu running with Willoughby. Finds her on the bounce pass. Leads to two more for the Liberty. Typically don't see a, a player get a bucket down like that, like Willoughby did without using the glass. Very unique. Step back three from Dana Evans. She loved the step back in the open. Because these ladies are playing with supreme effort. And they have not let up at all. Zhu with the bunny. And Ebert is, is part of that. Ebert, born in Chicago, grew up in Alaska, played her college basketball at Oregon. There's only in Uede down low with the bucket. I've known him for years. He's so proud of his daughter as he should be. She does a great job on the air. Vandersloot squeezes her way into the paint there. Usually lower than any of her defenders, so it allows her to take bumps and still get to where she wants to go on the floor. She's right in the paint area. Just pull up. If you don't want to go all the way to the bucket, pull up for the short jump. Lady created space and found two points. Shade under 17 points per game. An all-star for the first time in her career as well. Hebert has uh, some size over Whitcomb that time and used it. Well, Hebert, well, good job by Gardner being on the catch. Laney against Gardner again. It's Laney finishing again. Oh, but nice and Laney going with the offhand off glass on the move. Sabrina Ionescu, they hope she'll be healthy throughout the entirety of 2022. Natasha Howard, little fall away, Jay. The sky hadn't started 0 and 2 since 2017. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. As they are rolling to the finish line now with under seven to play. Her 8.6 assists last season led the WNBA. She's led that category in five straight seasons. <laughs> and another good bucket there for Mesa. Here's Parker. She'll patiently wait the trailer. Vandersloot, who tries a three and knocks it down. Still just 0 for 4 from the floor with two points after 25 point outing in their season opener against Connecticut. Evans wide open for three. Bucket short from Whitcomb. She's also struggled after good outing in their opener. Evans looking for another three. She's feeling it now. Oh, Dana Evans. Looking at the finish line now. Dana Evans trying to pick up right where she left off. That three in the corner. Annalie Maley. Where the sparks hurt the sky in the season opener on the glass, the sky have improved. Annalie Maley, second three of the fourth quarter. Dana Evans has knocked down a couple of trays in this fourth quarter. Sparkle Taylor scored her first WNBA points last week. Are they going to tack that on? Looks like they are. Hey, Steven, how cool is that? I, he beat me to it. <laughs> we all want selfies with Candace Parker. That's right. Boy, Han Shu has had some good minutes here. Sparkle Taylor, will she go back to work here? She will! Nice little 18 footer this time. Sky would be 2 0 right now. But they're quite happy with this effort and the way that they finished. The first meeting between James Wade and Sandy Brondello since the finals last season when Brondello was the head coach of the Mercury.